a clearing just past this ravine. We can get eyes on the gravity well up there. We're at the gravity well. Then paint that damn target so we can get out of here. You heard him, team. Line up the shot. Infinity cannot handle that kind of punishment. Not again. This isn't about us or this ship anymore. Sir, we've seen what the Didact is capable of. If we let him leave this world, humanity will be at risk. Look, I understand what you think you saw. Think? With all due respect, sir, I know what I saw. And with all due respect to you, soldier, I'm not willing to jeopardize my ship because of the hallucinations of an aging Spartan and his malfunctioning AI. Sir, what if he's right? Nav, as soon as we know we're airtight, I want a course laid into Karanay Station. Come, prepare a warning beacon. I will not! Allow you to leave this planet! Cortana. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that. Commander Lasky. Pursuant to Article 55 of UNSC Regulation 12 14572, I'm ordering you to remove that AI's data chip and retire it for final dispensation. I don't want to. You don't want me to. Remove Please. the chip now, Commander. Give me that chip. The didact has to be stopped. If you won't do that, I will. I am ordering you to surrender that AI! No, sir. Lieutenant! Arrest that man! Captain! Arrest him! Captain! Get word to Earth that trouble is coming. Cortana and I will do what we can back here. I can give you over 40,000 reasons why I know that sun isn't real. I know it because the emitter's Rayleigh effect is disproportionate to its suggested size. I know it because its stellar cycle is more symmetrical than that of an actual star. But for all that, I'll never actually know if it looks real, if it feels real. Before this is all over, promise me you'll figure out which one of us is the machine. So what's your plan? 
Infinity's tracked the Didax vessel to a docking structure southeast of here. We'll jump ship as Infinity exits the roof. You know, I was sent down here with orders to prevent you from leaving. In case you'd already gone, I took the precaution of ordering a Pelican. Outfitted for full combat pursuit. I hope to God you're wrong about that Forerunner. Or whatever he is, Chief. But in the vent, you're not. And Chief, good luck. Both of you. Come on, Chief. Take a girl for a ride. The Didact used this composer to create the Prometheans from ancient humans. If he wants to finish the job, he'll have to find it first. Our best bet to stop him is keep him firmly on Requiem. Let's hope Lasky didn't skimp on that pelican. Chief, join us, will you? Initiating pre-flight diagnostics. Forward auto cannon, check. Lateral rail turrets, check. Main thrusters, check. Auxiliary boosters, check. All right, keying engine. It may be a while before we find another ride home. You know that, right? It'll be okay. Didact, dead ahead. How do we get inside those shields? Marking two of the larger facilities on your HUD. They're acting as traffic control for resources moving to and from the satellite. If we disrupt their communications, I can forge an override code and convince it to lower those defenses. complication. There are millions of transmissions passing through this structure, not simply the ones controlling the movement through the satellite shield. Can you isolate the satellite communications? Not quickly, and shutting them all down is not an option. But destroying the system's attenuators should flood the network. Of course, if Infinity wasn't on their way back to Earth, they could overload the attenuators remotely. We'll handle it. That's hardly the point. The attenuators are housed in Faraday enclosures. I bet there's a release around here somewhere.
Okay, the structure contains three central attenuators. Sever those connections and we should be good. The increased signal traffic is almost entirely blocking out the satellite communications. Only one more target left. Great. The increased signal traffic is almost entirely blocking out the satellite communications. Only one more target left. <laughs> <laughs> 